Hey, what's up everyone? I'm Carlos Brooklyn Fragrance Lover. I'm here in Jersey City at my good friend Steven's house. Hey guys. This is becoming a little bit of a routine here. I yeah. think I'm here like every other week and vice versa. You guys come to Brooklyn. I totally don't mind. It's yeah. awesome. You're always welcome. My door is always open for you. Thank you for the lovely Mexican dinner. Yeah, uh, yeah, I love it. Uh, <laughs> we were just talking about this earlier. It's a local restaurant, mm -hmm. family owned. They're not even cool. a chain. And the food is amazing. Fresh. And that guacamole was pretty much killer. <laughs> yeah, I always have to get it. So today we're going to do a new release from Maison Francis Kirk de Jean, which is called Aqua Celestia. Yeah. It was just released, I believe, a month or two ago or maybe this month. Yeah. But it's part of that whole fresh thing that he does. The ad copy said something about where the blue of the sky meets the blue of the ocean. Cool. Type of thing. <clears throat> Excuse me, a little frog in my throat. So it's a pretty simple breakdown. The notes are lime, mint, black currant, black currant, I always say. Okay. Mimosa and musk. Mm hmm So I've got a red lessons test strip here. <laughs> We're gonna spray on this baby. Thank you. And then a Brooklyn Fragrance Lover test strip. <clears throat> froggy, froggy today. <laughs> So, I mean, I've been wearing this on skin for like three hours. Yes. Because that's the first fragrance that you brought over that you had me smell. Uh -huh. And uh, it's still going strong on skin. Cool. So, I think that that was my first, I don't want to call it a, a criticism, but that was the first thing that really caught my attention. It's like, okay, it's an aqua fragrance, it's lighter, is it going to last, is it going to jump? And uh, it does pretty well so far. Like, the longevity is not bad. Uh, that initial blast is really nice. It's really, it's really nice. It's, it's like mint, but... Not like toothpaste or mouthwash. I always say that, use those words when I'm yeah. referring mint notes in a fragrance. But it's kind of more like if you had mint leaves mm -hmm. and they were in your hands or like fresh, like a mojito, basically. Yeah. Because yeah. it, ha it has lime. <clears throat> it's not boozy at all. So just the, uh, the uh, lime and mint aspect of a mojito. Yeah. And it definitely falls in line with his like Aqua Universalis. And Aqua Universalis Forte, which is one of my favorite fragrances ever. Yeah. But it's not as floral. Like the floral component in this, the mimosa, is not, it's, it's not very floral. Like I get a lot of florals from the Aqua Universalis Forte, Forte but not sure, from this. Me too. Me too. When I think of mimosa, I think of um, champagne and orange juice. Mm -hmm. And I don't know, there was something about this when I first sprayed it, it had an effervescent quality. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's aldehydes or citrus or whatever. And I certainly pick up on the presence of some really dominant citrus, and I like that. I'm, I'm a huge fan, I'm a sucker for really clean, fresh, citrusy fragrances. And I own quite a few Francis mm -hmm. Kirk Johns. And the one that I always seem to gravitate towards, and it's even made the top of many of my lists, is Aqua Universalis Forte. Love now, that one. <laughs> yeah, I love it. I have um, Lumiere Noir. I have Absolute Pearl de Soir, and I love the darker ones mm -hmm. too, but there's something about his fresh offerings that I think he does them so well. It's very fresh, it's very crisp. The, the musk is definitely a clean musk, and I think that's what lasts through pretty much the ride of the fragrance on your skin. So it's, it's clean, it's airy, it's summer, it screams summer, it screams fresh. Yeah. And you know, I, I dig it. I th definitely think that I like this one a lot. And would, I would appreciate it, will appreciate it more when it's hot. I think so too. Yeah, I was getting ready to say that. I like the little touches that it has in there, like the black Quran, just a little bit of that fruity sweetness. Yeah, just and also a little the, touch. Was it lime blossom or linden blossom? Lime. Lime blossom. So just a little bit of that citrus that's in there just adds a nice little touch where it's not super linear and simple and plain and mm -hmm. generic, but it has a little bit of an oomph to it. And I like this one for that reason. Um, I would actually, you know, like now I feel a little bit conflicted because mm -hmm. I, I did not have... Aqua Universalis Forte in my collection. You know? No, if I didn't. Oh, okay. <laughs> and I saw both of them on the shelf, yeah. I wouldn't know which one which to Which one to reach for. Yeah. They're definitely in the same family and the same type of fragrance. Cool, clean, crisp, aquatic-ish. Yeah. Not overly aquatic, I don't think. No, I don't think so. I don't think so at all. But, but for sure, on a hot, hot, humid summer day, this will be a pleasure to wear. I, mm -hmm. I look forward to it, actually, to wearing it in, this, yeah. in the hot months. Now, do you think this one is more casual, or there's something about... 
how natural it smells and I, I I would say this is a daily wear type of fragrance, you know, work. It's it's not something that I would wear for a night out unless, you know, maybe you're going to an outdoor restaurant, it's hot in the summer, but sure. I, I, I think it's a, a nice staple everyday type of fragrance for sure. Agreed, agreed. Definitely has a casual appeal. It's not like absolute prolessoir where you really have oh. to find <laughs> the right occasion for it. Yeah, I love it. I think it's great. So, I think definitely um, you guys should check it out if you get a chance. Aqua Celestia from Maison Francis Kirk de Jean. Yeah. And I really do like his work a lot. <laughs> and I like his, his collection a lot, so. Yeah. Thank you for joining me on this. Yeah, thank you, Carlos. I appreciate it. It means a lot. And all I'm smelling when his hand waves is another one that we're going to do. It's, it's an oud fragrance, so it's kind of like... That's going to be exciting. Oh, look at it on skin. Look at this. Look at this. This is yeah. back oh, to the... Oh, that's this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah sure. Nice, right? Yeah, it's really nice. It's really nice. It's not overly citrus. It's not overly minty. And, but it's definitely musky. Clean musk. Yeah. Clean and crisp. One more thing I want to say. Even revisiting my skin and I smelled it like right at the beginning of this review, it doesn't, it hasn't changed a lot. You know, it's not yeah. like the citrus went away and the lime blossom mm -hmm. went away and the currant went away. Like it's still there. Like it still has that dimension, that personality to it. So it's, it's really good. I'm digging it. Thank you, Carlos. It's going to be a great one for summer. So definitely. All right, you guys, thanks for watching us. I hope you all are well. And uh, please do come and check us out at our next review. Bye bye. Take care. Restaurant, you know, we order from there all the time, yeah. and uh, we really like the family. The food is amazing. Yeah, it's a local. It's a family. That's good. Yeah, yeah. Sunday. It's a local. It's a local family. Local family. It's not the... <laughs> you were making me nervous, stupid, huh? <laughs> yeah. Why did you need to come in here during the video? No, no. Because when you were watching, I was like, oh, I'm nervous. Like I had no idea. No, nothing bad. I, I was on the plane. What? Be nice to Mrs. G.